Hi, this is Chris Rosencutter with Mecha Enterprises. This is a very brief video to explain the graphics in Mecha Stack and the menu system. I've got a model up on the screen here of a guide stack and I'm going to go over how you would view that and the different display options. Uh, the first thing to notice is in the right hand corner there's some commands that are similar to like a CAD environment. So this is uh, rotate and when you have it selected you can rotate uh, pan you can move it around on the screen, uh, zoom, this, you, I'm doing all this with the left mouse key, um, you, you drag it up or down and it'll zoom in or out, and then this is a zoom window where you can select a certain region to zoom in, uh, and then this far right button is a zoom fit, so it'll fit it into the screen. Now you can do a lot of these same features with your mouse. If you have a roller ball on your mouse, a, a roller wheel, um, if you roll up on the wheel, uh, it'll zoom in. If you roll out, it zooms out. If you hold down, it goes into rotate mode. And you can rotate around while you're holding that wheel down. And if you... Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all it does. Um, up here on the top there are several different views this is the ISO view so it's just isometric um, and then you can view the bottom the top uh, right left front back it's kind of useful so you can see over here on the left side we have the thickness and the material and we have elevations those are actually just in two-dimensional it's in a three-dimensional space, but it's just written on one plane. Uh, so when you rotate around in different views, it looks strange. Um, and you may not want that on there. Any of these features that you want to hide, there's a, a list over here that allows you to turn them off and on. So for example, let's say the thickness. Uh, we're going to turn the thickness off. And then material, I'm going to turn it off. So you can just toggle them on or off if you'd like to clean up your display. Uh, the elevations are also something you can turn on and off and then dimensions so you could hide all of that stuff if it's uh, if it's cluttering up your view or you can display it while I'm on this menu over here another thing you can do is uh, if you double click any one of these it'll bring up a color screen uh, and then you can change the color of that component so for example, I just changed the color of the base plate to green. Uh, the this, this stack shell is kind of a gray. I could change it to, uh, to purple. That uh, makes for a pretty unattractive stack, but you get the idea. I'm going to go back to gray. So I showed you how to turn on and off different features. Sometimes the ladders and platforms can be uh, overwhelming where you can't see everything, so you can turn those off as well. Okay, the way the views are set up to be printed, it's not quite as simple as the old uh, Stack Des program. Um, these are this with this system you're going to take screenshots so the way each screen that we've attempted to set it up is if you go to this far right view it's called the front view and if you look at the front you can see you pretty much can see all the dimensions um, the material the thickness and the elevations sometimes depending on the scale the dimensions may be uh, better positioned than others uh, so you have some adjustment here with this elevation button where you it see how it's moving all of them left or right. Uh, you can do the same thing with the thickness and the material. So you can play with that to try to uh, get things positioned like you'd like them. Because of the different scales of, of, of uh, stacks, it's, it's not always going to work out perfectly. This will change the... Uh, arrow sizes oh and then here's the font size if it's too big or too small okay so if all else fails 
that you still have some text. This one's really clean. There's not a lot of overlap. But if you still had some problems where dimensions weren't quite where you wanted them to be, or you couldn't see them, you can actually click on the dimension. You can drag it. Sometimes you have to click twice, once to select it and once to actually move it. Okay, so th this will help you get a, a, a sketch or a, a drawing uh, that would be uh, cleaner. But the, the problem with this is that next time you regenerate, which will basically be after you do an analysis or make any change, it's going to go back to the default position. So one way you can r do a regenerate or rebuild is to click this little hammer and see how everything snaps back to where it was initially. Okay, so the other thing you can do uh, showed you rebuild. So now that you've got your print, your your uh, image cleaned up, you could just print this. I'll show you this first. Uh, because it's easy but the quality I don't think is as good um, this is the screen that it'll bring up and this is what's going to print we're looking at a print preview here but if you will look you're not using the entire page I can't seem to get it drag it or anything but you're not using the you're, you've got a lot of real estate here that's unused and so it's not the most legible and uh, haven't really figured out how to improve upon that so I'm going to show you another way that seems to work a little better you've got this uh, button here that's a camera so you're going to save a save it as an image so you've got a couple of different options here you could use a bitmap a PNG file a WMF or an EMF so I'm just going to use PNG and I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to call it uh, front view Okay, so on my desktop now, I've got this file saved. And it's an image file that you could convert to PDF or you could print it directly. And you can see it's a little more, uh, it's a little clearer, a little uh, higher resolution. It's easier to see. So that works pretty well. So that that's the front view. And then the other view that you would normally use um, would be the top view and if you see we've kinda got it positioned where you've got your dead man called out you've got your radius of, to your dead man uh, so this would be another one that I would take a, a picture of okay the same thing applies you can actually see the the base plate on this on this uh, overall model you can see I've got a structural flange here um, you can see the guy lugs so all that's shown on this drawing but it's not easy it's easy to call out in dimension on this drawing so what we have is a part uh, model so if you click on this button it'll take you to uh, a detailed blow up of, of just that base plate and it's set up to be the same way the front view and the top view are the two views that you would normally look at so when you do the front view you see that's not too bad you can see you can see all this maybe the text is a little bigger than it should be um, so you can you can drag that around you can adjust the spacing okay you get it like you want it same thing you can take a screenshot or you can print it directly then you do the top view and again that's pretty good not too bad um, everything's pretty visible and you could you could do a second screenshot of that I'm sorry not a screenshot but a, a image save an image file um, this is your guy lugs same thing if you do the, the front view uh, the, the one time this isn't going to work on the guy lugs is if you have custom uh, orientations if you're not at 0 120 and 240 degrees uh, you might I've not actually experimented with that you might not actually s uh, your front view might not work because your guy look might not be perpendicular to that plane so in that case what you could use is this uh, snap to uh, rotate to a face 
and if you click on that face it'll rotate the plane to that even though it's not a normal XYZ plane okay so and that that function exists on all the graphic screens okay so I'll go back to here I, I would do the same thing here you could either uh, you could do an overall view showing the whole thing or you could zoom in on just that lug to make it a little more visible and then you would uh, do the top view and it shows you here the uh, the cheek plate and the lug plate thickness not quite as easy to see maybe a bottom view might be easier but actually the text is backwards there um, so it's a little easier to see on the double lug view because the this top ring is not projecting out so far and then the last graphic option is the uh, structural flange and so it's the same same kind of deal the top view and the side view okay if you change your uh, colors and you want to go back to the standard colors you can set this uh, option click that option there and it'll change everything back to the standard um, you can export this file as a solid model and uh, but it's it's not it's not the best um, I've tried it some and, and it is a solid model. The file's rather big and it seems to be uh, better in some CAD packages than other, but it's there if you'd like to try it. Uh, it's definitely not a proper solid model. This is more of a, a, a model we're using for modeling purposes only analysis, so it's not a, a proper CAD model. Um, that's basically it. Uh, thank you for your time.